Well, good morning and another sunrise with Pastor Hayton here. So delighted to have this privilege of sharing with you for a few minutes today. You know, I think about the church. The Bible says that Christ loved the church and he gave himself for it. And I know that uh, I don't say that I take pride. i certainly not ashamed that I've given nearly 48 years of my life to the ministry in the church. Aside from a short sabbatical that I had, I've been pastoring here coming up on 48 years now, and I'm just so delighted that I've had the blessed privilege and that God has deemed me worthy to call me to minister to his church. And and so, you know, I think about the, the church, how Christ loved the church, and those of us who are called to serve are delighted and privileged and honored to do so. But we use that word rather loosely sometimes. I know a lot of mornings after I get up and eat my bowl of oatmeal, I'll say to Carol, well, I'm going to go over to the church. It's where my study is located, so I'm going to go over to the church. I called a fellow about coming to pick up some yard debris and trash that we had and giving him instructions. I said, you come down Shoto and you come to Parvin Road. And if you'll go east on Parvin Road, just a short ways, you'll see a, a red brick church sitting there on the right. And uh, what I really was saying, you'll see a red brick building actually where the church meets. Because you see, the church is not a building. A lot of people got up yesterday and said, or Sunday morning, and said, well, I'm going to go to church. And they were thinking about the little red chapel there on Parvin Road where they were going to go and worship. And uh, we think about the church all too often as a building. I've chosen just a few verses of Scripture from the Acts of the Apostle to show us that the church is not just a building. It's so much more than that. Actually, the church is... It's the called out ones. The church is the people of God. The church is the flock of God. The church is the body of Christ. Think about the church today. It's not just a building. Acts eleven twenty two said, Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church, which was in Jerusalem. And uh, a building doesn't have ears, does it? So we know that that's a re reference to the people that assembled in the building of worship. Then when he had found him, this is uh, on down in the chapter, when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church. Didn't say they assembled themselves within the church, but they assembled with the church. They associated with people. Find here that about that time Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. You can't aggravate a building, and uh, so it meant that he was aggravating people. Then I like where Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. A building doesn't pray, it's people that pray. I know this morning that uh, we mean well when we say I'm going to the church and I'm probably not going to stop telling my wife that I'm going to go to the church now. I'm probably going to invite people to church and tell them about that little red church building that is sitting there on Parvin Road. Hope you'll come and go to church with us. And yet it's, uh, it's not just a building, it's not an activity even. You know, we can meet together in the building that we call the church and, and have activity, and, and that still is not necessarily the church. It's the church that is made up of the blood-washed people of God. And you know, I think of so often that people come into our assembly and they begin to ask about becoming a member. I'm so glad to say, you know, you really can't join the church of God. You're born into the church. And, and uh, you know, the church is made up of those that put their faith and their trust in Jesus Christ. And if you're saved by the blood, if you're a Christian today, you are a part of the church. So the church is people. And I'm so glad that I'm one of those people today. I'm so glad that I learned early in life that I could be a part of, of God's people. Yes, it's indeed a privilege to be a part of the real 
church today. Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for the church. We thank Thee, Lord, for Your people that mean so much to us. We often sing, I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. That's, I'm a part of the church. We thank Thee, Lord, for the buildings in which we worship. Thank Thee, Lord, for uh, the, the opportunity that it gives us to assemble together as the church. But may we always remember the church is not a building, but it's people just like us. And Lord, we are to circulate in our communities, and we're to represent Jesus Christ and His body. Bless us throughout this day, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I just wanted to share some of those thoughts with you that's been going through my mind, and I'll see you tomorrow now on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.